You can hear this boy coming, opening the gate. Where is he? Hello, Baba. Yes. How are you, my baby? Good. How was school? Good. School was good. Yes. What did you do? Uh, learn. What did you learn? <laughs> Learn about yes. Write them. Write. Now we can't hear you. Where are you going? Just stand here. And now, and now, write them into one and two. Okay. Did you go swimming? Yes. Mm. Did you enjoy? Yes. What did you eat? I eat mm. and buku and soup and ugali. Hey, you guys are eating better than me. You were eating chicken? Wow, you are so lucky. Okay, you're welcome. You can go and remove your uniform. You have homework? Uh, yes. You do? Yes. Okay, go remove your uniform. Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel guys. So it is uh, in the evening and uh, I want to cook this for Keith. You know, nowadays I don't know why, but he comes home very hungry. I don't know if it is a growth Hello. part. I'm actually, <laughs> you have already said hi. You've already said hi, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah so nowadays he comes home very hungry i don't know why and he has just eaten chicken but he still wants to eat i don't know if it is a uh, some growth spot or what i'm actually tempted to go to that school and ask if they don't cook for them because uh just some time back he never you never used to want to eat by the way baba you didn't want to eat but now nowadays you eat you eat a lot why Nowadays you want to eat like all the time. But anyway, it's a good thing, okay? You are still growing. You need you need to eat. So guys, I have just concluded my my 21 days of fasting and I just want to give you my experience as we cook this. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe. Tell them to subscribe, Baba. Tell them. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell and and what? And leave us a comment. Yeah? Leave us a... So you guys remember my giant, giant butternut. Is it butternut or, or pumpkin? One of those. Yeah, so uh, part of it I made soup. The other part I took to my friend uh, Noella. She has a small kid who will really love this. And now this is the last part that I want to cook. Keith, I'm sure you will love it. It is sugary, okay? So I'm, cook I'm cooking this for with uh, with Uji for you, okay? Okay. Okay. Have you ever eaten this? No. You've never? Yes. Yeah. Well, I can assure you that you love it. You will? Love it. Yes. So guys, by the way, I usually I usually keep the but seeds. The seeds of anything are always the, the, the best, guys. So I don't throw them away. I will let her run. Uh, do what? But me, I don't like seeds. But I'm not going to give you seeds. Seeds are mine. Since oh. seeds are not yours. Seeds are. Yeah. So like I was telling you guys, seeds, pumpkin seeds are, are very nutritious. You can always Google. I am your nutrition guy. So you need to trust me so I don't throw them away later on I will know what to do with them but somehow they have to end in my end up in my stomach so this is what I am going to cook for kids I don't know if I'm going to be able to multitask because now you know you, you see now I need to look at the whatever I am doing here and then now I also need to talk I don't know can I multitask I don't know how to multitask yeah. You remember how how uh, when we were looking for jobs back then, like every every everyone CV had multi multitasking. Kids, hmm? you have, you are 
everyone CV had multitasking as this unique skill. But now you realize nowadays that it's not it's not actually a, a very important skill. Actually, like I told you, I write I, I write a lot about uh, productivity, personality, and uh, personal development, and I also research a lot about it. So, science actually says <laughs> that our brains are wired to single task. Like multitasking is a, a myth. Our brain, we cannot multitask in short. And uh, sometimes you can tell yourself that you are a great multitasker, but now what happens? And I have actually proved this with myself. Sometimes you know you are, uh, I'm writing, and then now I decide to go on YouTube or, or Facebook or just these social media platforms. But now when I come back, I will take some time before I can refocus my brain on whatever I was doing. So that is what happens. I know that you can multitask on simple tasks, like for example, talking and cutting these or folding clothes and and listening to music or watching TV. But now when you are doing tasks that require your brain, that are competing for your brain, then it is difficult to multitask. That is the concept. So now I have cut them, I'll wash them and then I put them there. I was thinking about chips. Yes. So guys, uh, I have washed it. I'm just going to season with salt and uh, a little bit of uh, black pepper. And that's it. So we are eating boiro, boiro, boiro. Kid, hmm? we're eating? Boiro, boiro. <laughs> boiro, boiro. Boiro, boiro is, is sweet, okay? You know it has it has sugar. I don't even know why we are putting salt. And then a little black pepper. And then that's it. That's. And then we will cover and let it boil. As I cut for you, that. Eating. It you are cooking yourself food. I'm cooking? First you're cooking yourself. If you are so hungry, you can take banana. There. I bought bananas today. You can take them. Take them. Not that. You don't want banana? I'm not that hungry. Uh, it's just that you don't like banana. You want mango? Okay. Okay, you can take your mango. By the way, guys, it's still mango season, so Keith has options. <laughs> and then I have skumawiki there that I'm going to prepare for supper. No, 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 I have already cut it for you. Take this one. This one? The oh, one those one. Yes. Make sure you wash your hands first. Hey, you, you. I see you. My Guys, uh, we ended our 21 days of prayer and fasting on Sunday. So this is the first time I have actually ever committed to doing this uh, 21 days of prayer and fasting. And it was quite an experience. I have never done like 24. I have, of course, I have done like a day, two, three days, but now 6 to 6, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So me, I was doing 24 hours, although you are required uh, to do 6 to 6. But you know, I wanted to also get the health benefits of fasting, so I decided to be doing 24 hours a day. And it has been quite an experience. Guys, right now Kenyans are on my case. Oh, Judy, you are now too thin. Oh, now you shouldn't continue um, like this. Oh, now this is too much. Oh, guys. Hello. You know, uh, people people can lose weight. For, okay, that I'm talking. Give me time. So people can lose weight for various reasons, uh, including sickness. So sometimes when you just meet someone and you start telling them not to continue losing weight, as if sometimes I may not even have the control over that. But personally, I, I, I didn't intend to lose weight. It just came. And I, I actually thank God because uh, my body reacts reacts uh, like quickly. It reacts quickly to change. 
I change an exercise routine like this, I lose weight. I, I, I fast for one week, I lose weight. Actually, I measured myself yesterday and I am down to 65 from 70. I'm hoping 5 kgs just like that. Yeah, so I may look small right now and it is a... There's nothing wrong with that. I actually love being small. But now... What? No, that's that. That's not the point. So now, uh, spiritually, I can say that uh, this fasting has really done a good one. Like this is the first time I have done. I have been at peace for a whole month, <laughs> almost. But I, I, of course, right now I intend to carry it to the end of January, and I am glad that I did it at the beginning of the year because uh, I would I would really love to carry that spirit with me as the year progresses. So now. You know, there are those times that I used to ask people, like when people used to say, uh, God spoke to me, I saw God, blah, blah. And I would ask them, how did God speak to you? So this time around, by the way, during that period, uh, I have tried as much as possible to block out distractions. Sometimes I would even, I wouldn't even know what to pray for. And then I would just ask God to direct me on a, uh, an area of my life that I should pray for, or sometimes an area of my life that I need to confess about. And uh, I put my head down a little bit just to catch some sleep, and then it comes to me in a vision or a dream. So that is how God speaks, actually. Yeah, you can't expect Him to come physically and stand in front of you. So uh, another thing is that, uh, like right now, I'm so optimistic with this year. I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, anxious, I am not, like I, I don't feel like I should start giving up just because, you know, maybe I'm not seeing results right now and the year has kicked off. So I'm just praying that it goes that way. So I had planned, I had, pl the plan was to fast for, uh, how many, 18, is it 18 or how many days? And then now the last three days I was to do the Esther fast, that is fasting for three days without eating, without eating and drinking. But now, uh, personally, I wanted, I, I was going to drink water because sometimes I feel like my throat when I don't drink water. But anyway, when I'm fasting, I don't even drink a lot of water, just a little bit just to water my throat. So now that is what, that was the plan. But now guys, <laughs> day one went well, 24 hours, and then day two, by the time I was getting to 40 hours, guys, I could stand like this and then see, see, see two things. Now it went well until the 40, was it the 47th hour? When uh, Keith was, was sleeping on the ground when I, I was coming from the bedroom and I almost I almost fell on him. And then I told myself, well, Judy, you can die right now. And then when you reach heaven, God will ask you, why did you use your wisdom? So now I decided that I was going to start eating. So I took mala. Mala is fermented milk for non-Kenyans. So I took a little, like three sips. And then I saw I was okay. Of course, I am aware because I have fasted before. I know that you shouldn't just, you know, start eating uh, solids immediately. You will overwhelm your system. So when I took the mala and, and nothing happened, I actually thought I was good. So I had cooked uh, bananas. So I had cooked bananas. So and then I told myself, because now you know I am hungry. And then I can see that I have taken mama and nothing has happened. So I started, I said, decided to take like five pieces of, of, of uh, bananas. You guys, immediately I felt like going to the toilet for a long while. I can tell you that, guys, I released everything. Like, I released all my problems, all my ancestors' problems, all my sins. Right now, I am clean as snow. I am white as snow. It was diarrhea, but it, it was like almost the, 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 whatever, the toilet bowl was almost full. In fact, I flushed the first time, and then the second, I had to wait for the second and the third flush. By the time I was getting there, I was feeling so fresh, guys. Those are some of the benefits. Like, I felt like it was a cleanse. Like, my body was just new. And then I had this energy. Right now, I'm very productive. I, the client sends me work. I, 
I work on it, take it back. I'm not procrastinating. Oh God, please, please remove procrastination from my life. I am a productive person. I'm going to be productive the whole of this year. So I feel energetic right now. I feel lighter. Of course, I have lost weight. By the way, if you intend to lose weight, try fasting. So what I have, uh, I have real, I have learned from this fast is that uh, number one, actually we don't need all that food that we eat. Kenyans, we eat a lot. I don't know about people from other countries, but Kenyans we overeat like Tunenda from Jengo. We we eat like we are we we are going to a construction site. I have realized that you can actually survive on one meal or at most two. But you find other people eat six. Your body doesn't need all that food, guys. It doesn't, it doesn't. You're overwhelming your system for nothing. And then uh, I plan on uh, fasting more this year. I am hoping that uh, my next one, I will go up to the three days. I will go a full. I will do a full Esther fast. I plan on doing this just so that I can, um, I can grow my spiritual life. I don't want to be a lukewarm Christian anymore. I want to grow. I want to go to know God more. And then do, during this time, by the way, Yanni, I have read the Bible like I have never read before. I have listened to the Word of God like I have never listened before, and it is just so comforting. So. Like it gave me, it, it has given me so much peace that I don't even know how I have been surviving without this. So hopefully I can keep up with this. I don't know. Have you ever fasted? Please leave a comment down below. Have you ever done the three day, the Esther fast? Please leave me a comment down below and just let me know about your experience. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you can subscribe. Please subscribe guys. Subscribe as I cook for... Mr. Subscribe. Keith, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell.